This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader Brickheads. With them, I'm going to take at these two figures and I want to mention a really weird thing that happened with it. When I ordered this set, I actually was not able to complete it because on Vader there were these little one by twos that were missing. They actually included four three by ones instead, and I just want to be really thankful to Lego for being so helpful and just being able to send me the replacement parts for this since if I didn't I would have to have little things put popping out for Vader. But yeah, I just want to say definitely if you ever have a Lego set and they're missing pieces, just contact Lego and they'll help replace them. Or maybe something really weird in my case, like where they send in the wrong pieces, they'll still be able to do it. And yeah, that was just a really helpful thing I wanted to share with this. Looking at the figures, first is Obi-Wan, and with him, he has some pretty cool details. His hair's a little messy in the back to fit more in line with him and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Although if you wanted to, you could just get another one of these and straighten it out to have a more classic Obi-Wan. At his side, he has his robes on. And there's a pretty cool detail here where they have a little gap built with these slow pieces, which looks really cool. And the other side is basically identical, just he's not holding a lightsaber. Here's the top view, and we can see from the bottom. And place him back on the stand. Which I just to make sure I do the right way. The more impressive one that I like is the Vader. With it, he looks really cool with the red in his eyes, and you could easily replace it with black if you wanted to be a little more of a classic Vader design. With him, he has his red lightsaber. Some really cool printed details with his belt, control panel mask and the type of his helmet and it'd be really useful if you wanted to build more of a larger scale vader or you just want to create something else with vader parts that was a really cool thing the side view is pretty cool the back has the back of his helmet and his cape design which looks really nice and the side you can see his lightsaber and yeah looking from the top pretty reflective and from the bottom pretty simple but yeah this is a really cool set of br brick heads they go well together and they're cool ones to have to your collection if you have brick heads and specifically i really like the star wars ones i started getting them when the Mandalorian Child one came out, and I think I've got all of them since for Star Wars. So yeah, they look really cool, and I definitely recommend to get them, but let me know what you think. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen. And may the force be with you.